Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve these two problems from Engineering Statics by Hebler. The first problem says that determine the angle theta between the two cables. So we have these two cables and we have to find the angle between these two cables. So as we know that we can find the angle between two vectors by using the dot product, right? So if I find the position vector of F1 and the position vector of F2. So let's say that the position vector of F1 is from A to B, right? So we can write that R A B, the position vector from A to B, dot product with the position vector from A to C. This will be equal to the magnitude of the position vector from A to B, multiplied by the magnitude of the position vector from A to C, cos of theta. And we, we need to find the angle between these two, then cos of theta. We can write that cos of theta will be equal to our AB vector dot our AC vector divided by our AB magnitude, our AC magnitude. So in this equation, we are required to find the position vector from A to B and the position vector from A to C. Now we will find our AB. So we can find this position vector by reaching that point B from A. And we will move along the x, y and z axis. So to reach that point B, we need to move uh, 3 meters in the negative z direction that is in the negative k. So I will write minus 3k. So I will reach here, then I will move this much distance in the, this is our y, so I will, I need to travel 3 meters distance in the positive j, so I will write plus 3j, and then I will move, I need to move this much distance in the negative x, so that is minus 2i, and then I need to move this 3 meters distance in the positive j again. So we can write this is plus 3j. So I will reach that point B. So this is 3j plus 3j, so this will become 6j, right? So I will write that this is plus 6j. We can find this position vector by using one another way around, right? So we can uh, look for the space between A and B along the x-axis. So the the spacing between A and B along the x-axis is, is 2 meters and this AB is going from this point A towards B. So this is in the negative sense, right? So we, we are moving along the x-axis towards the origin. So towards the origin means that this is minus 2. And similarly, the spacing between A and B along the y-axis is, is this 3 plus 3. So this is 6. And then the spacing between A and B along the z-axis is, is this 3 meters. But the positive z-axis is, is going upward, right? So we are traveling downward. So downwards means that we need to move minus 3. So this is the position vector from A to B. Similarly, uh, if you want to find its magnitude, so its magnitude is, we can write that the magnitude of the position vector from A to B is, so 2 square plus 6 square plus 3 square and then take the square root. So this is 2 square plus 6 square plus 3 square. So this will give us the magnitude of the position vector from A to B. So this is 7 and this will be in meters and similarly this will also be in meters. Similarly we can find uh, the position vector from A to C using that similar method. So now to reach that point C from A, we need to move again uh, 3 meters distance in the negative k. So I will write minus 3k. Then I need to move this 3 meters distance in the positive y. So I will write plus 3j. Then I need to move this much distance in the negative x. And this is 2 meters. So I will write minus 2i. Then I need to move this distance in the positive uh, j again, that is 3. So I will write it here, this is plus 3j again. And then I need to move this much distance in the, in the negative x again, right? So this is minus 2i. 
and then we need to move this distance in the positive k. So this is plus 4. So I will write plus 4k. So we will add all these terms, right? So if we add up these terms, so this will be minus 2 and minus 2. This is minus 4i. This is one same position vector. So this is minus 4i plus 6 j and minus 3 plus 4 so this is plus k so this is the position vector from a to c now we can find its magnitude so its magnitude is again uh, i will calculate it directly so this will be uh, 4 square plus 6 square plus 1 square under the square root so this comes out to be 7.28 7.28 meters now we can use this equation 1 to find the angle and if I take cos inverse, so we will be able to find that theta. So we can write this equation as cos inverse. So theta equals to cos inverse and the position vector from A to B that is minus 2i plus 6j minus 3k dot product with our AC which is minus 4i plus 6j plus k and divided by their magnitudes. So the our AB magnitude is 7 meters and uh, this is our AC right. Our AC magnitude is 7.28. So 7 multiplied by 7.28. So this dot product will, go, will give us a scalar. So we can do it directly using calculator i, we will multiply i with i since uh, i dot i is 1 and i dot j is 0 and i dot k is 0. So we only need to multiply the corresponding components while taking the dot product. So this will be, I can do it directly. So this is minus 2, minus 2 into minus 4. Let me write it here, cos inverse, this will be minus 2 into minus 4 plus 6 and i dot i will become 1. So we will have all scalars. This is 6 into 6 minus 3 into 1 divided by 7 multiplied by 7.28. So we can find it directly. I will write shift cos inverse then minus 2 into minus 4 plus 6 into 6 is 36, minus 3 into 1 is minus 3, divided by 7, multiply by 7.28. So this gives us 36.43. So theta is equal to 36.43 degrees. So the angle between these two cables is 36.43 degrees. So this is the solution of uh, this problem. Now the second problem says that determine the magnitude of the projection of the force F1 along cable AC. So we need to find the projection of F1 along this AC unit vector. So for that what we can do is that I can write that the projection of F along AC is equal to so we will take the dot product of that uh, f1 since we want to find the projection of f1 along ac so we will write f1 vector dot the unit vector along ac so this will give us the projection of f1 along ac and this will give since it's the dot product so it will give us the magnitude of that projection along ac so we can write f1 so we need to find f1 first f1 cartesian vector so f1 we can write f1 cartesian vector equals to f1 magnitude f1 magnitude is 70 along the unit vector since f1 is acting along the ab so we need to multiply it with its unit vector along ab and as we know that this is 70 and this is UAB, the unit vector along AB will be the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude. So we can find this, right? So this will be uh, 70 and we know the position vector from A to B which is minus 2i plus 6j 
minus 3k and divided by its magnitude and its magnitude is 7 meter we have already determined here so now this will be uh, 70 divided by 7 so this becomes 10 and if I multiply this so this will be minus 20 i plus 60 j minus 30 k so this is the f1 Cartesian vector now we need to evaluate this so this is f1 times the unit vector along ac so now we know the f1 vector this is the f1 vector so i will write here is uh, minus 20 i plus 60 j minus 30 k and dot product with uh, unit vector along ac so then this is unit vector along ac is the position vector from a to c divided by its magnitude so now we have that uh, unit vector from a to c this is that unit vector from a to c so i will write that this is minus 4 i plus 6 j plus k and its magnitude is 7.28 so this is 7.28 similarly again we need to multiply the corresponding uh, i components j components and z components right so this will be minus 20 into minus 4 i dot i so i dot i is 1 plus 60 into 6 j minus 30 into 1 k and divided by 7.28 and there is a j dot j is 1 so there is no need to write uh, j and k while we take the dot product so again we can do it directly so this is minus 20 into minus 4 plus 60 into 6 and minus 30 into 1 is minus 30 divided by 7.28 so this is 56.32 so the magnitude of the projection of f1 along ac is 56.32 newtons